<laughs> Fulton Moore. No, just Voldemort. That's the only one <laughs> that, we, that we've had uh, any issues with. Um, all the other teachers have been great. Like, literally, everybody else has been accommodating, soup, uh, you know, super helpful. It was to the point, seriously, it was so bad that his mom um, talked to me about it. His My dad mom, got involved. Your dad got involved. She did. principals about it and said, if it does not change, if she does not start doing this, they were going to go... To, they, they, they were going to go, they, well, they were going to go to um, Miss Harrell, and then, oh. and, and then it could take further legal action because my, Harrell. it is legally binding. Apparently, I found out that yeah, and so, literally, you 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 could get fined for not doing it, not providing the um, accommodations. Jim Harrell is his Hillier rep, who is um, a service, and we have Hillier reps for individuals with hearing impairments and visual impairments, and she works here. Yeah. And then after that, I saw immediate change in her because she knew she could get in trouble for not doing I mean, what she needed to do. Because mm -hmm. it, it, it just wouldn't stop until we got that ha to happen. She it was being rude. To to and she was being rude to all, all the other students in my class, too, and she had an immediate turnaround after that. Um, my goal is to go over to Heartland for college and also um, work more as a custodian. That would be my main goal. You're looking at the HALO program, yes. uh, which is a certificate program for individuals with disabilities. He would learn some basic skills. He would learn some things about college. He wouldn't be taking necessarily college level courses, but it's a program specifically designed for our kids with disabilities in anywhere. Um, and then hopefully getting a job. Well, mainly it's been almost the same thing, except for the fact that there wasn't really technology back when I was in junior high for some of the years, so I'd have to take around this. There was like a big, uh, one of those like carts that they have, you know, three shelves on, and I used to have to roll that around the whole entire school with big, like, you know, like 10 big books on it for each class. So it was ridiculous. textbooks, if you ever see one, it's almost the size of... <laughs> They're like the size of a coffee table. And about this thick, and it's like one-tenth of... So a history book that would be like would three get, books. Like our literally, would probably have eight different books from him mm -hmm. that are about this wide, this long, and about that thick. And he would have uh, maybe a third of a page of the content on one piece of paper. <laughs> and they're huge. Yeah, so, so that was... finally the technology has caught up with the disabilities and made things so much easier. <laughs> Yeah, and so that was basically the only thing that's really changed is just, you know, we have the tech, new tech now, but back then that's what it was. That was a very good question. Yes. Um, I haven't heard of those before. Uh, what are what what are they exactly they are, like? Uh, my brother uses it, and it will—it's like almost like a camera on the teacher, and then he has a monitor for it on his desk, so that he can see it. Have you ever heard of those? Um, I think I did. I think I did a while back because it was like um, it was one of the things that they had at my junior high, but then they threw that away because they got <laughs> the newer tech, like the iPad and stuff. So. That got thrown away as well as uh, I was offered to take a desktop machine, and I wish I had by now because it had so many cool programs on it. But they ended up throwing that in the good in the dumpster because I, you know, they could nobody else could use it because it had special visual stuff on it. 
So I wish I would have grabbed it back then, now looking back on it, but I didn't. He likes to tinker with technology, by that I mean he likes to take things that are broke and fix them, which is ironic because, you know, I mean, it, when you're messing around with computers and things like that, you they're small parts, and he likes to get in and dig around. It's fun. And next thing I know, he's going home one day with a tower for something that he found or a moon box that um, doesn't play, yeah. No 